Hey there, Eddie Gutierrez here. I'm going to be pretty much capping off my hypercalcemia lecture with things that you might be asked on a standardized exam regarding these concepts. Okay? Uh, so once again, I'm going over hypercalcemia, and on this particular video, I'm going to be starting on this side of people who have a high normal to elevated PTH. If they want to give you a differential, if they want to give you a train of thought to which side the diagnosis is going to be on the question, they have to give you the PTH. Okay, so make sure you learn at least how to differentiate from this side and this side. So overall, the most common cause of uh, hypercalcemia is people who have uh, adenomas in their uh, parathyroid glands. So that's the most common cause. If they're going to start asking you about secondary or tertiary, they have to show you a patient who has renal dysfunction. Okay, they, they can't give you somebody with a normal creatinine and then expect you to uh, come up with this diagnosis. For people who have this issue of the, the familial hypercalcemic hypocalcuric, they're going to give you a, pay, a, a patient who has other family members who have hypercalcemia, possibly kidney stones and things of that nature, whether it be a sibling, a uncle, a father, somebody's going to have this on the, on the clinical test. And if it's something regarding lithium, well they're going to tell you the patient's on lithium so you know that that's for the differential. Now the most common cause on this side of people who have a suppressed PTH, the most common cause is people who have a PTH related peptide or protein as I mentioned, I don't know the difference. But you will be able to search for an underlying malignancy in these patients, find that they either have a squamous cell uh, lung cancer, ovarian, or breast cancer, or, um, or a T, T cell lymphoma, there are other malignancies that cause it as well. So they're probably going to give you in the vignette somebody who's been losing weight, somebody with a tobacco history, somebody with an abnormality on their mammogram, uh, things of that nature. In patients who have granulomatous disease and they want you to they want to try to extract the reason why this patient is hypercalcemic. Well, a patient who has TB, they're going to give you a patient with, you know, unfortunate history of intravenous drug abuse, homeless person, somebody who is in jail, somebody from a different country. Um, they might give you that. A patient who has sarcoid, they're going to show you a chest x-ray with bilateral uh, uh, hyaluronopathy and tell you that um, the patient is African American things like that. A patient with a B cell lymphoma, they're going to give you all the B symptoms in that as well as some weight loss so you'll be able to go down that route. Um, they are going to ask you most likely to check a chest x-ray or a CT scan of the chest because this is going to help give you your differential. Okay, I haven't seen anything regarding any, any questions for vitamin D toxicity but it might come up. Um, obviously if, somebody's hyper, if somebody has hyperthyroidism, you're going to check a TCH, TSH, the uh, patients with multiple myeloma, they're going to give you an older patient with back pain who's frail, whose creatinine is starting to bump up, they're hypercalcemic, you can make that diagnosis from there. Immobilization, I think that might be a little bit too easy because it's just going to be a patient who has an underlying uh, injury that might have caused them to become bedridden for a couple of months or advanced age, failure to thrive in an elderly person, that could happen as well. Now, milk alkali syndrome, uh, you can see this in patients who take a lot of Tums or drink a lot of milk. Um, and lastly, thiazide diuretics do cause this issue. I uh, haven't seen any vignettes on it, but they're going to tell you the patients either are cortalidone or hydrochloric thiazide. So, excuse me, hopefully from all this you're able to answer some questions correctly and do well on your exam. Thanks for your attention. Subscribe.